Okay, so what possibly might be our last spoiler cast ever. Uh, thank you, 2006 elections. Um, we're going to talk about Doctor Strange. 2006? Yeah, 2006. Yeah, we died a long time ago. Um, they, they're, they're dead. They don't even know. James, shut up. <laughs> um, Drive faster, motherfucker. You live I know, South right? <laughs> you live in South Dakota. You uh, can see. You can pull over and text. For real. Such a dick. Uh, so, um... So fucking... No, you're so... How dare you obey the law and drive... Well, you know what? Uh, you know sure. what? At next part, uh, Dr. Strange talks. So, uh, see you in part three. Right. Part three. Part three. So, uh, we're about to talk about the, the Strange, and it's gonna get, like, real spoiler heavy, so you better fuck the fuck off. Yeah. You have not watched Dr. Strange. You All right, if you... Better fuck the fuck off. Or if you care about spoilers. If you don't care about spoilers and or, and, or you watch Doctor Strange, uh, then you stay here. But uh, everybody else, you, yeah. You now, if you up. like me, uh, then... I will say I have not seen it, but I don't mind the spoilers. And I would actually like to hear your guys' experience. Because I, I would eventually like to see it, but I kind of, you know, I want to <laughs> kind of hear it from two different two different sides. Yeah, yeah, see, me a, going in, sucks. I knew precisely <laughs> dick about Doctor Strange. And me going in, I knew a lot of things about Doctor Strange. I knew he had a weird-ass goatee. That's kind of how I am. Like, I don't... Like, All right, James is listening. You are dick, you know? Fuck you. <laughs> I just, um... Thanks like, for listening. Recently, <laughs> like, I mean, I've always been into comics, but not, like, super heavy until recently, and Doctor Strange is not one that I'm, I've gotten real familiar with, so... Okay, there's apparently one issue of the comic that's called Doctor Strange and the Cavern of the Tripping Balls. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I don't... I have to read that. I have not read that. I, I read that. I don't want to read it, because I don't want to ruin what's in my head. All right, <laughs> Because right, uh, so after the shit forward. I saw, I could see somebody tripping balls. Okay, um, I know this might fall over or uh, go over Rob's head, but Megan, have you ever watched Full Metal Alchemist? Yes. Okay, so you know the rules of Full Metal Alchemist of alchemy. Yes. All right, that's pretty much what's happening in Doctor Strange. Okay. Yeah, it's not. Uh, the th- the only difference is. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to give something for to able to do the magic. Okay. So it just things appear out of nowhere, but okay. there are consequences for using okay. magic. Okay, so you don't have to pay, but you have consequences later. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's pretty much how magic is in the Marvel universe. Okay. And what the, what they're saying is, I right, magic is energy from the multiverse. Okay. Yeah. So, so Marvel has. If you're familiar with multiverse theory. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. so there's many. There's an infinite amount of universes, universes. or worlds. Yeah. yeah. And what they do is. They take energy a little from, off the top. Yeah, they take little off the top from each universe and conduct spells. Stuff it up their stuff. ass. And to, to conduct spells with uh, this energy. So, like, there's a there's a mirror universe, and they could bring that to this universe and able to stop like bad guys. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah, they could trap them into this mirror universe and stuff like that. So, with that being said, all right, Doctor Strange starts off with uh, Stephen Strange at the hospital. No, 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 no. It starts off with uh, we're gonna call him Mads, Mally Mads, Mads, Mads Mikkelsen's character. Uh-huh. All right, he he enters the library and has to steal a page from one of the Ancient One's uh, personal collection. Which I am so glad to see that man. Really? Yeah. Um, 
Do you ever watch uh, Serenity? The yes. follow-up movie for Firefly? Yes. He's the... the. No, 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 no. No, Maz Mikkelsen is, uh, is Hannibal. Oh, 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 yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, so for the duration of this thing... <laughs> We're gonna go by. We're gonna go by Hannibal, the guy from Serenity, uh, Sherlock, and Matilda Swinton. Uh, uh, Rob, have you ever seen Hellblazer? Wait, was it Hellblazer or uh, Constantine? So. Constantine. Constantine. With, Constantine. Uh, yeah. With uh, um, Keanu. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, the angel. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, the angel in that movie? Yes. That's Tilda Swinton. So yeah. we're going to say... All right, it's so, a really creepy <laughs> movie chick. She's always been on. Yeah, so our cast of characters are Hannibal, the guy from Serenity, Sherlock Holmes, and the angel from Constantine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, all right, so Hannibal goes into the library and steals a page from one of the books that's owned by the angel from Constantine. <laughs> And the well, angel technically, from it's owned by the order, or whatever they're no, called. No, 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 it was her. It was hers. It was her personal collection. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, the, the order. I don't know. Whatever you want to call that place. Yeah, I don't know what that place is called. Anyway, uh, but before Hannibal was one of the best to... payoff jokes I've seen in a long time. <laughs> but. With the librarian. Oh, man, the, uh, oh, he never the laughs. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We get to that. We get to that. <laughs> that oh, we need a, oh, we need a name for, uh, we need a name for Wong. Um, How about Wong? No, no. Well, we could go with that. But <laughs> to Wong Fu. Have you seen the It Crowd, Rob? No. You haven't seen the It Crowd? Damn. No. Uh... Shit. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get in the name for him. <laughs> Just call him Ob Jab and be done with it. No, we're not calling him that because that's A, racist, and B, you can fuck yourself. Uh, Benedict Wong, who plays Wong. Oh, <laughs> you would give him a <laughs> fake name? No, no, that's his real name. I know, they didn't even give him a fake name. No, they actually... Yeah, well, kind of. That Wong Wong is a Wong is a very established character in the Doctor Strange lore. Okay. Yeah, he's. Uh, all right. The difference between Wong in this movie and Wong in the comic books. Uh, Wong in this movie is, uh, he's the librarian. He's yeah. the new librarian after the yep, old after... librarian. <laughs> kind of lost his head. Kind of lost his head, thanks to Hannibal. Um, but in the comic books... Hey, it's he, just a drop in the bucket, man. He He's... Uh, yeah, shut up. Um, <laughs> in the comic books, here's where it gets racist, kind of. Um, in the comic books, Wong is <laughs> Doctor Strange's manservant. Oh. Okay. Yeah, like he's he's a badass character, and they they kind of as the years passed, they kind of made it so like he's not a manservant to uh, Stephen Strange. He's yeah. just a manservant to the Sorcerer Supreme. Ah, so and he's the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah, so the Sorcerer Supreme is whoever he is. If somebody else came and became the Sorcerer Supreme. Wong would have to f- help that yeah, person yep, out. Yep, yep. But. So he's right like now, Dobby from Harry Potter. It is yeah. my duty to save your <laughs> booty. So uh, going on with. <laughs> that was painful. I'm sorry. Yeah. Going on with uh, the movie. You didn't have to grease so quick. <laughs> we're, not even, we're not even five minutes in. <laughs> so, no, not even close. So We haven't even gotten still... to the first scene. I know. So Hannibal steals the pages from, uh, from the angel from Constantine's personal book. B has the librarian. B has the librarian. <laughs> tries to piece out. They got some but, fire webs. They do some S and M shit. 
Yeah, but then uh, the angel from Constantine comes up and like, hey, uh, no, you need, so. stop, you need to stop that shit out. And um, they she get puts them into the mirror zone. Yeah. That's where shit gets a little freaky. But he first looks at her and screams, hypocrite. Yep. Because apparently and, that was the shit he was after. Yep. So Because uh, she's making the building wait, go wait, wait, all trip no vision. Yeah, she goes trip no vision on the buildings. And it this is your first. up with them. This is your first taste of the inception part of our story. <laughs> so It's an inception on acid. Yeah, so uh, buildings buildings turn around. People it actually makes me feel uneasy a little bit. Yeah, because it, it's yeah. If you're if you're prone to motion sickness, Doctor. Not, not that kind of uneasy. It just I have a very I'm very <laughs> scientific. The laws of physics. But at this point, up is fucking of, up. At this Away point, from the source of, of gravity is up. At this point of at this point, laws of physics doesn't count. I know, I know, <laughs> and that just. The way they were bending the shit just it hurt my head a little yeah, because bit. The, yeah, because the side because the sky's on the side of you. I get yeah, that. No, it just yeah, yeah. but no, it's the way the buildings were moving. Really, like the fractal nature of it. Really. Yeah, there's something about it that just uh, yeah. Sciences. Um, I really want mushrooms. So, uh, I am not like, fucking kidding. So fighting, <laughs> fighting. Consumes and and uh, uh, Matt, not Matt, Hannibal escapes. Yep, leaving uh, the angel from he comes through a portal. Yeah, and the angel so from Const- that blue portal was. And the angel of Con- the angel from Constantine is like, you know what, <sighs> whatever. Get the fuck out. <laughs> and <laughs> then we cut to Sherlock Holmes. Uh, doing surgery. surgery and this is like very risky surgery but yep, he yep, pulls yep. it off like with no like very like cocky nothing. he's doing fucking music trivia you're right okay, so and, he, if I remember correctly he was what like a neurosurgeon beforehand yeah or brain surgeon yeah okay. yeah yeah he, he is the, so he is such yeah. a good doctor he later assisted in his own surgery yeah, so, uh, oh. Oh. Right, we I mean, he, he's, more, he's more like we'll a light break than anything, we'll, but. we we'll get to that, we we'll get to that. <laughs> All right, so, uh, wait, he's, yeah, he's he's predominantly a newer surgeon, but he can right. basically do any kind of surgery. And they okay. established okay. that he, because he's driving his Lamborghini way too we, fucking fast. Wait, 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 we we'll get to that, we we'll get to that. <laughs> because there's a set, no, because there's a second oh. surgery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, do we really second... need to cover every step? Yes, we do. This is how we do it. <laughs> this is how we do it. <laughs> this is how we do it. So, Friday so, night. Because we have to introduce the chick from Notebook. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, so after with their segment, fucking adorable moles. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, am I Which right? Which somehow works in her favor. So. <laughs> so after that one surgery. Uh, the chick from the notebook goes to Sherlock and is like, um, panicked. She's like a fucking gazelle with lions around. And she's like, uh, yeah, uh, I need Fuck help whatever with whatever you're one- saying. <laughs> yeah, I need help with this guy. Uh, can you help me out? And he's like, ah. <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, then he looks at it and they're like, we need to run. Yeah. So they run. Uh, there's this other. Stupid doctor, dumb doctor. He's about uh, to harvest his organs. He's about to harvest this guy's organs, and do- and he, he's Sherlock, super douche here. Yeah, Sherlock is like, uh, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "Well, I'm about to, you know, harvest this guy's organs because this dude is dead. I mean, look at him; he's dead." And he pulls a house Sher- on him. And Sherlock he is houses like, him. Sherlock yeah, houses him. He's like, "No, uh, this dude just got a bullet in his brain." And See I'm about that? to take it That's out. Horrible. So uh, he's still alive. And I'm. And then he <laughs> freehands it. Yeah. Without whatever the other's procedure. But it seemed like they were concerned that he wasn't doing the other procedure, which conveyed enough to me to go, oh, he probably shouldn't be doing this. 
<laughs> but he did it. And it worked. Because cause he's a bouse. Because and... then we see, yeah, and then we see the happy family in the waiting room finding out that their husband and father is not dead. <laughs> yeah, he just and has a not, in his head. He, his penis has not been sold to a rich man. No, it hasn't. So congrats, everybody. Your husband's penis is still there. So, um... I'm kidding, he's too old. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nobody's gonna buy a fucking dick with that many miles on it. Fucking Rockefeller would. Um, anyway. <laughs> no, he'll so, buy his heart. Yeah, he would. He definitely... He'd that would like be his that. eighth. Like that. So, um... What happened after that? Uh... Then he goes home, changes. Oh, yeah, because and then he he's in a, the fucking Lamborghini. Driving like a, a douchebag in a Lamborghini. Because he has a uh, dinner to talk about yep. or something. He has to talk to a bunch yep. of people. Famous thing. He has to go be fucking swaggy. Right. He has so, to go talk about his favorite thing. Him. Him. So, um... Uh, <coughs> door, here's what I think is the spill... The spill reference that Car- that Cargo was talking about. While he's driving like a douche in the Porsche, Sherlock gets a call from Billy, uh-huh. and I think that's the reference. He that gets a call be. from he gets a call from Billy. Billy. And then he's like giving him shit. Yeah, sending him messages. Sending Come on, him give something. me something worth my time. And but here's that the he thing. won't take this one girl's case because it might ruin his record. And he didn't take the he didn't take uh things case, uh war uh-huh. machines case. Right. No, not War Machine. Yeah, that was one of them was War Machine. I think it was probably one of the Hammer pilots. No, it was War Machine. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was War Machine. He he didn't take War Machine's case where he could have like made him walk again, but he was like, nah, nah. And they didn't take the woman's case. And he saw some other case that he was like, Wow, that looks intriguing. And then he bumps into a truck. And in a Lamborghini in the rain. Hauling and, ass on the wrong side of the road like and, a douchebag who deserves is, to get flipped and have his fucking car reach up and eat his hands. And this is where you have a horror film director <laughs> directing yeah, right, right. like this because <laughs> it is That was terrible. all slow-mo. Yeah, so if you ever thought about texting and driving, you hear that, James? Uh, <laughs> You're the one telling him to fucking do it. <laughs> shut up, shut up. That's that's not the point. If you think about <laughs> texting and driving, this is the reason not to. So, <laughs> oh, so the dash the dashboard eats his hand. <laughs> up and takes a big old bite, but it's it, like it, it's toothless. It just comes the fuck out of him. Yeah. So he crashes into the river. He crashes in, near, next to a van down by the river. And, oh, man, I'm sorry. That Lamborghini never would have went that far. <laughs> it, I don't care if it is downhill. It would not have went that far. That car is too low to the ground. It would have got snagged. So, but he, he crashes to a river. He's dangling into the it's, river. It's fucking brutal. And then oh. we wake up with him in the hospital. And he is fucking pin hands. Yeah, he is. Have sex sites to show you. He Hold has on. He punched something into my iPad. I can't quite seem to manage it. <laughs> you got another joke? Nope. All right. So, yeah, his hands <laughs> is fucked up. Like, fucked up. <laughs> like, fucked Super up hands. Fucked up. You're fucked up hands. So, <laughs> it's what you'd imagine they'd be like after all the cartoons where they get their hands run over by a steamroller. Right. Like, if a woman. <laughs> was walking down the street and saw those hands, she would turn them into a purse. They're all fucked up hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Chick from Notebook is there with them, saying, look, uh, yeah, nobody do- could have done better. They, they had the surgery, yet yeah, nobody could have done better. You had the best person fixing you on your hands, and Dr. Strange looks at her and like, bitch. I know, loses his shit. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, bitch. I could have done better. He kind of he kind of talks to her like you would expect a guy who did that in a Lamborghini to talk to her. Honestly, yeah. yeah so uh, <laughs> super douche. So uh, we cut to months later. 
Yep, yep, yep. And he's trying uh, to return to work. He's trying to get his hand to stop shaking. Yep. Which so he's come he's on. having radical having radical surgery, but put your hands through a trash compactor. Yeah, they ain't happening. You're lucky they're still attached. Exactly. Uh, Bob, have you seen Sunshine? Sunshine, that um, With the horror sci-fi. Yeah. Where they fly towards the sun for some reason. <laughs> yes, it's like the. Yes, I have sun. with um that creepy motherfucker. Uh, the scary. Okay, so uh, no one. Trey, Trey in that movie. Trey. See, I don't recall it that well. Yeah. yeah. I've seen that, but. Have you seen Marco Polo? No, I have not. Have you seen Prometheus? Yes. Uh, he. This is even harder <laughs> because I've seen Prometheus and I know he was a bit part in Prometheus. Okay, well that's not going to help them because we're just gonna call we're gonna call Wong the guy from Prometheus. Anyway, sure. <laughs> if, <laughs> see if you had seen if you had seen if you had seen the it crowd, you would have known. I would have got it exactly. But it's the IT crowd, the IT crowd. <laughs> have you seen the IT crowd? No, I have not. Okay, so, yeah, guy from Prometheus. Anyway, where are we at? Oh, surgery. So, <laughs> so he's, he's trying his best he, to stop his hands. He sh- this new surgery to help his hands feel heal faster. And guess but what? But you have spoiler to imagine alert. eats up most of his money. And spoiler alert, it does and it doesn't work for his hands. It helps. Kind it of. It helps a lot. But, but, but it's not hand, a miracle. Yeah, so his hands are still fucked up. So uh, while he is uh, at a rehabilitation place, I guess in the hospital, uh, one of the one of the nurses there tells him about a guy who uh huh who, who had a severed spine. He had a severed spine. So he was chest down paralyzed. Yes. And he was like, you know what? Um, one day he, he left. I thought he was dead. Yeah, he left one day. He stopped showing up. And then I saw him on the street like a couple months later. He walked and he by was me. walking. Walking by me. And he was like, and, Doc, and Sherlock was like, bullshit. And <laughs> he was like, no, I find, look, if it will shut you the fuck up, if it will prove you wrong, I will, find, I will get prove those kids. arrogant ass wrong. I would get those case files. Because that was a great fucking line. So. Just to prove your arrogant ass wrong. I can appreciate that. So uh, while we get in those case files, Dr. uh, Sherlock has a fight with the girl from the notebook. And it's like a very bad fight where she left. He he is kind of a cunt. Yeah, he's like. You you can understand. He said everything. His life was his surgery. Yeah, it, but he said everything but call her the bitch, get the fuck yeah. out. But he told, he basically said, bitch, get the fuck out. This is so, the part where you leave. Yeah, so uh, she leaves never to be seen again until later on in the movie. But uh, looks at the case files that the guys sent him. Hey, Megan, you glad you came on the show? Yep. Yes. <laughs> with the no- <laughs> because we're basically telling you to stop. Uh, with the note that said, no, no, told literally, you. we're literally telling you. Yeah, that I said, know. that said, told you, and um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, told you, told and you. And there's so. the ca- case files. It said, told you, T T O L D Y A son, and <laughs> and in the files it says like, yeah, he had a he had he had a broken back. He got banged. His and, uh, back was broke as fuck. And, uh, yeah. He was fucking broken it. And then uh, we cut to uh, people playing basketball. And that's... Nothing. And he, <laughs> and, and it's him. It is him playing basketball. This dude who is chest down paralyzed is, is playing is, fucking <laughs> b-ball outside of the school. Is owning the paint. And... <laughs> and doctors and Sherlock is like, hey, uh, guy who used to be on Law and Order, uh, <laughs> come on <laughs> here. <laughs> guy who in this story couldn't fucking move his face. 
Yeah, dude who used to be on Law and Order came over here. How are you playing uh, basketball? What's the deal there? How are you playing basketball? <laughs> he lists off all the different things. No, no, he, he walks up. He walks, he walks up to him. He's like, "Hey, dude, uh, the fuck." And right. <laughs> like Rob said, he and he's like, listening. "Oh, I, I, you know what? I do remember you. You refused to see me." Yeah, because uh, I was, I wasn't a so case worth having. For you. Yeah, yeah, I was going to be another fail case, and you could have that on your record. Right. But uh, Dodgers, uh, fucking Sherlock, is like, uh, yeah, um, sorry about that. I think but it's um, fair to call him Dr. Locke. Yeah, Dr. Locke. Okay. So Dr. Locke is like, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry about that. But uh, how the fuck are you walking? Because I have these hands, right? Uh, you probably know them about them. I'm but looking I have for these my way back. <laughs> I have these hands, and he shows them, and they're shaking like he's uh, the last days of uh, Muhammad Ali, and the Parkinson's. The word you're looking for is Parkinson's. Yeah, whatever. And <laughs> and you know, for Law and Order is like, all right, look, <laughs> shit's gonna get crazy for here on out. Uh, go to this place, and uh, this place called whatever the fuck. And wherever the fuck, and Wait, you're um, talking about like where he stays. No, 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 no. Uh, is where the Asian one is. Yeah, in that uh, city. In Asia. Nepal. <laughs> the Himalayas, or whatever. I think it was in Nepal. Yeah, Kathmandu. Could be Kat- wrong. Kathmandu. Okay. There's a place in Kathmandu that. Uh, if I knew any of the lyrics, I'd make a pun. Yeah. But I don't. <laughs> yeah, the only thing yeah, I know they, is that there's a song about Kathmandu. And the and the movie refers to it. Um so go to go to this place. Uh shit is gonna get weird. And if you think that For real, uh, real, not for play play. Yeah. So if you think that you're down with this and if you really want your hands back Go to this place, do everything they tell you. I was gonna stay there because <laughs> look, I'm the dude from Law and Order, but uh, it, shit got too real for me. So I was like, uh-huh. hey, as long as I, I can didn't walk, sign up for all that. <laughs> yeah, so as long as I could walk, I'm fine. So uh, cut to Batman Begins, where <laughs> Doctor Dr. Locke is walking through the Paul or Catman Do, trying to find his place and. Uh, the guy from Serenity appears, yeah. and he's like, "Over here, I'm asking about it." Yeah, and he starts fucking stalking him. Yep, and uh, Doctor Locke gets robbed for his last earthly possession, which is a watch. Yep. Uh, he says, "Hey, um, look, I have no money, and this, this watch. That, it's all I got I, left." Yeah, I kind of need this watch. And the people that's robbing him are like, uh, well, huh, get him. Bear in mind, <laughs> his, his hands are fucking loosely wrapped sausages. Yeah. He tries to punch <laughs> one of them in the face. Oh, that, that scene hurt me. <laughs> that scene hurt he tried me. To, he's got 18 stainless steel rods in his hands. And he tried to punch a motherfucker in the face. Yeah. the dude just looked at him like, what the fuck? And he is on I got the ground. I <laughs> Alright, so he is on the, the ground. In serenity. <laughs> right, no, he's on it's the ground. It's not a sword. With... It's not a he's, sword. But he pulls the shit out. He he's Dr. the is on the ground in pain, getting jumped in, and <laughs> the dude for Serenity steps up and beats the tar out of everybody. He beats the devil out of him. <laughs> he beats the devil out of that brush. And uh, they all walk away. Uh, he picks up the watch, hands it to Doctor Strange's broken hand, and the watch is broken. It's cracked. It's all Broke. fucked up. It's fucked up. Later, Just like we his see hands. Engraving back. Yes, we see the engraving in the back. It was but from we get to Chick that. from the Notebook. Yeah, it's from Chick from the Notebook. Chick well, from we the don't Notebook. Know that at this point in the movie, which we don't know. So, uh, Doctor, so, uh, dude from Serenity tells Dr. Locke to follow him. They enter the place, the place that we don't know the name of right now, enter the place, and... 
So uh, I'm pretty sure I could be racist, but I'm pretty sure that the guy that was sitting down was the dude from the raid. The uh, uh, see, I, I I know I've seen the raid, but I don't. Uh, the short, uh, the short, uh, mean villain from the first one. I don't recall it well enough. Okay, so we go we go call it the dude from the raid. Sure. He's sitting there. He's sitting down. Is that the guy with the um the fucking serious ass goatee? Yeah. And the glasses. Nice, nice goatee. Yeah, that was a fucking solid Fu Manchu yeah, shit. That was a solid goatee. So um so uh the dude from Serenity tells Dr. Locke that all he has to do is hey, talk to the ancient one. So Dr. Locke goes to the guy with the seriously nice goatee, like a sweet Goatee. Assuming he's the ancient one, because it's, with that, I mean, it take a long time to mature a goatee like that. So I'm yeah. Saying. So that shit doesn't just happen. Doesn't happen. So the guy on the goatee gets up. Uh, Doctor Locke is about to say hello to Doctor Strange. What I mean to the ancient one. When God, the lady this woman from, has been in everything. But yeah. the the woman from uh, the ancient, the ancient one. Yeah. 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 This one's mm-hmm. funny. Yeah. So, uh, what's it? What we called her? The lady, the angel from Constantine is handing him a tea while he's about to address the guy with the seriously nice goatee. While he walks away, he's like, uh, Asian one, it's nice to meet you. And the lady from <laughs> Constantine is like, well, it's nice to meet you too. And it's like, oh, what? But we already know that that was the ancient one. Hey, Jared. Yes. Can we have goatee art for part three? Oh, yeah, definitely. Please. Yeah, sweet. It's gonna be all of us, me, you, and Megan. All right, <laughs> goatee sweet city. Ass. So sweet ass goatee. So um, <laughs> just fucking sweet, man. Just a nice goatee. As that sweet ass goatee is walking away, uh, <laughs> the lady from Constantine is like, "Hey, uh, hey, uh, Mr. Strange," and he's like, "Doctor," and he's like, "Yeah, Mr. Strange." Um, yeah, you had some weird ass surgeries, and um. You had like seven of them, and like, how the fuck do you know? It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, so we could heal you in ways that you don't know. And he's like, uh, oh, right, fine, whatever. And she's like, yeah. So, um, like, if you read this book here, uh, this might help you out. And he's like, wait, wait. He looks at the pictures, and the pictures are like, you know, uh, self help, uh, spiritual kinds of pictures. And he's like, uh, what the fuck is this? And she's like, well... Sure. Yeah. He, okay, okay, okay. I understand. I would expect nothing less from this cocky douchebag at this point right. anyways. But, on the other hand, she's showing him the chakras, the acupuncture points, all right. of the traditional Eastern, quote-unquote, medicines. Right. Which seem basically like hooey. I mean... Yeah, but the, the thing is, <laughs> but the thing is, she's saying, yeah, this may seem like hooey, but um, but it's it's, it's for real, kinda, real. Yeah, it's kind of they're kind of there with it. Like they don't know the full spectrum of what yeah, could happen. They're only, they're only looking through a keyhole. Yeah. So um, yeah, if you do this, we could we could you could probably heal that shit yourself. But you're gonna like, know some shit. And he's like, bitch, <laughs> you don't get the fuck out of my face with that. And she's like, oh, really? And then. <laughs> I spent my last dollar to get here. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> bitch, you don't know me. And then she punches his soul out of his body. <laughs> she smacked whatever black there was on him the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so he entered so his ashram. Any- Remaining Benedict Cumber Black is now gone. <laughs> so he entered his astral form and is floating and watching as his body is about to hit the floor. And he's like, <laughs> what the fuck? And she brings it back to him. What just happened? <laughs> Teach me. And, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he, he enters back his body. He's like, what the fuck was in that tea? He's like, it was just tea, you know, honey and shit. He's like, what the Bitch, no. <laughs> like, oh, really? <laughs> so <laughs> she... yeah. Oh, and then she bust out with the fucking shield. <laughs> yes. 
And, and it goes all fractal. No, and then she uh, <laughs> gave her the most elegant head game ever by <laughs> pointing her finger into his mind and tells him to open his eyes. And then all of a sudden, it is uh, Pink Floyd for like the next five minutes. <laughs> it sure the fuck is. It is just fucking the 1980s and shrooms. Yes. <laughs> so we are we are now introduced into uh, parts we'll of. We'll call the it the Marvel. Phantom Trip Zone. The 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 Phantom Trip Zone, which is. Uh, pieces of the Marvel multiverse. Yes. Okay. So uh, if you've seen the end of Ant-Man, you see parts of the... What was it called? The... Uh, the tiny zone, I'm going to call it. <laughs> subatomic? Sub, was it subatomic? Yeah. We're going to go over subatomic. No, you know what? No, we go over tiny. we go over tiny world. So we see parts of Tiny World in there. <laughs> we Fuck see the mirror. technicalities. <laughs> we go over the mirror. Teeny beanies. At some point, all these hands start grabbing him. <laughs> fucking yeah, weird. He caught the hands. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Well, actually, the, he, the hands caught him. <laughs> the hands caught him. And, <laughs> and then they start growing off of his hand. Yeah, uh, and, which and was even fucking weird. And even those hands had hands. Uh, yeah, it was hands on hands on hands for days. Yeah, uh, this should just... be Matt's movie alone, based on the amount of hands. <laughs> and, <laughs> Matt's movie and, of the year. And then they flew off, and then he, <laughs> and then he folded uh, into his eyeball. Yeah, uh, and he, he latched onto the iris. He was holding on for dear life. But nope. And then he went into the dark dimension. Which we would come back to later. And then... Where uh, fucking Shiny Eyes Cthulhu. Oh, shiny Eyes Cthulhu. And then... Um, <laughs> and then he comes back. And land, you know, he comes back, sits down. Because his heart was racing. Yeah. And she was like... <laughs> she was like oh. Yeah, she yanks him back. <laughs> She's like, no, oh, he really? looks fine to me. He looks fine to me. And then it's we go poof. Back, back. <laughs> back into weird zones and <sighs> um, multiverses. And it's just one big. Oh, I want this Blu ray so bad. It's one big kaleidoscope of what the fuck is going on. Oh, so yeah. he and finally great. comes it's back. Very well done. Very, very. Yes. It's not sickness inducing or anything like that, but they get a lot of shit out there in a very short period of time. Yes, it's 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 the ending of two thousand and one, but like to the entertaining degree. Yes, and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you actually know what the hell is going on and shit like that. <laughs> so uh, we crash and we crash into the uh, back into the place that we don't know, and he he gets up and he's like, <laughs> oh, "Whoa, teach me the fuck." <laughs> so uh one or the girl from Constantine looks at him and says <laughs> ah, no and he kicks him out <laughs> throws him out on his fucking nose five hours later he's still out there trying to get it teach me teach me witness um <laughs> <laughs> so, <That's me. laughs> shiny chrome <laughs> so um, so uh, five hours later uh, the guy from Serenity and the girl from Constantine are having a discussion talking about hey like look this dude has been out here She's for playing like with five observatory. hours yeah He's been out here for like five hours trying to get in. Like, maybe we should probably let him in. And yeah, she's like, you know, look. We, we are kind of fighting a guy right now that's pretty fucking beef. And the thing is, uh, the woman from Constantine is like, yeah, that's the reason why I don't want him in. Because I don't want to turn him into the guy that we're fighting right now. Right, right, so, like I did with the guy we're fighting right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but the guy from Serenity is like, uh, yeah, but 
you see this dude's determination? I mean, have I mentioned that he's been out here for like five hours trying to get in? Do you know what kind of neighborhood this is? <laughs> Bitch, I spit all my money. I ain't got nothing left. I, I had to left. save him from a jacking on the way here. <laughs> they, t- they took my thumbs. So <laughs> I ain't got no money. I ain't got no hands. <laughs> so she's like, you know what? All right, fine. Fine. Fine, let the nigga in. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they let him in. Uh, you and it's shot. like the lamest Harry Potter ever. <laughs> well, you say that. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, let him in. Uh, says, look, hey, you're going to be here for the night. Uh, she, you, your teaching starts tomorrow. He uh, hands him that slip of paper with the scripty looking wording on it. He's like, what's this? Fish. Well... <laughs> the yeah. Wi-Fi password. Password. <laughs> is, I mean, which am that I right? was a callback to Serenity. Really? Yeah, when he first uh, meets Mal, and they're in the whores, sorry, I don't remember her name, bedroom, and he's like, we could discuss this like, men. we're not savages. Ah. Yep. So, uh, uh can, we, can we say that if it's... The password was Shambula, but I meant my my entity meant to Sham. <laughs> so um, oh, yeah, the Wi-Fi password. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a good gag. That was a good fucking gag. So uh, teaching starts. I think yeah, teaching starts right. Yeah. No 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 no. Wait, we go. We have to go to Hannibal. Hannibal is uh, he got the pages. He puts them on the ground. And he starts doing some... Starts rigid... redecorating. Yeah, it starts redecorating, and shit is going crazy. So, back to training. Got uh, floors for days. Yes. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. So, uh... <laughs> He's got moving sidewalk in his hallway. What the fuck? So, we Lazy tra- bitch. <laughs> so, we're training... <laughs> Can't just walk. <laughs> so, we're training. Uh, everybody's there. They're doing a good job. <clears throat> Except However, for Dr. Strange. For Dr. Locke is like, uh, hands are shaking, so uh, he's unable he can't to focus his energy. Yeah, but the thing is, he's actually a very good student because uh-huh. uh, he's reading all the books. He's, he's uh, understanding, which he's is understanding surprising it. everybody. Yeah, so that's plus he's doing the moves well, what he has to do, but since his hands are shaking, uh, he's not able to conjure anything. And he addresses that to the woman from Constantine. And she was like, she's like, oh, really? Fucker. Really? You fucking, so, oh, you think that your hand's shaking? Hey, uh, Mr. <laughs> Super Goatee. The sweetest goatee comes into the, the sweetest <laughs> goatee yeah, ever in film history. The sweetest goatee just appears out of nowhere. And just the sweetest goatee. And, and he just pulls his hands out. And, oh, hand. He pulls his hand out. Because the other out. one's a fucking nub. Nub. He has one hand he's and He's got a, a forearm. So, and he starts to do the spell. And he's and able he to do it. he does some badass shield shit. Yes. So he's able to do the And she looks at him and I'm like, bitch. What's your excuse, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> just keep, like, it, it's, uh, so uh, one of the things is, uh, I forget, it's, it's kind of like a ring. Oh, yeah, I was ring. just about to ask you, god damn it. What? I can't remember the name of the ring. I can't remember either, but it's kind of a ring. It, it's a ring. I only say it like a hundred times. Yeah, I know, right? It's a <laughs> ring, and in order for them to Have transport... Have you ever Portal? I haven't played it, but I know it. Yeah, well, it opens portals. It, yeah, it, it opens portals, and you need Not for this brain, though. You need this ring, and uh, you do this gesture, and it open a portal, and you mm-hmm. go pretty much anywhere that you could think of. Yep. So yeah, is uh, it is it similar to like the the orb from the comics? You know, I'm talking about like um. Because he has, like, you know, the different, um, like, I guess, artifacts. I know, like, for instance, a lot of the spells they use are from, like, the the, the, the book of, what is it, uh, Fashanti or whatever. Right. And, um, 
he got like the the orb of uh, Agamotto. Oh, the eye of Ag- no, it's not the eye of Agamotto, but we get to that eye of Agamotto. Okay. But, yeah. But this yeah, is that's, tr- it's just, that's coming. Soon. That that the the ring is just like something that everybody has. Okay. It basically helps people transport from one place to another. So the woman from uh, the woman from Constantine opens one of these portals. Uh huh. They both go through. Both goes through it, and they're basically at the top of Mount Everest. The summit. The summit. Of so Everest. he's yeah. in basically pajamas. Yeah, he's yeah he's basically in a in a onesie. <laughs> and she's like on Mount hey, fucking Everest on Mount Everest and she's like look how beautiful it is to be on top of here so it is cold and it's he's just like my balls minutes. are receded into my body right now exactly yeah. and she's like yeah, yeah you you might and she's yeah. like you'll last like two minutes yeah and then like she most, leaves most people most people at this point it, they it, they could reach the coldness within like 30 minutes and they could be like dead but you might last. Too. Yeah, you might you might last two minutes, and then she dips off, <laughs> leaving him on, leaving him on top of Everest, and for him to conjure up a portal back to wherever the hell did that take your swim, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so <laughs> the guy from Serenity walks up to the woman from Constantine, who's just waiting in the yard of this place that we forgot his name of, and. He's like, uh, yeah, um, where's Dr. Locke? And she's like, oh, yeah, he'd be, he'd be back in a second. <laughs> no, he's not. She literally no, blue balled him. Yeah. No, and, 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 and then you think he is, but he's not. And Dr., uh, I mean, the dude from Serenity is like, oh, you did this shit again. Like, look, let me let me bring him. How back. many times has she done this that they have a shorthand about it, or exactly. they don't even need to say what she's done? <laughs> so, she's how like, many no, times? No. How many people are dead on the top of Everest because of this bitch? We never know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so no, like, like global look, warming continue. Maybe we'll find out. Yeah. yeah so she's like, look, listen, look, look. He he be back. He be back. So beat, we beat. Nothing's happening. Nothing. Nothing's happening. Nothing. She starts to look nervous. Yeah, she starts getting a little nervous. And then all of a sudden, the portal comes and he's like, hops up. His, his goatee is all snowy and shit. Not like the glorious mustache of the dude before. No. But <laughs> he, he's, he's finally conjured up his own little portal. And it is beautiful. It's a nice little touching scene. And she kicks him. He almost died. Yeah, he almost died. So, um, <laughs> so, uh, the guy from Serenity uh, has to train Dr. Locke in fighting. He starts whooping his ass. He starts whooping his ass. And at this point, Dr. Locke is like, yeah, yeah, all this magic and stuff is cool, but why are we, like, training to fight? Like, what's the purpose of fighting? And he's like, like, Look, um, yeah, yeah, magic is cool and all, but there's like people. There are people. You gotta out, whoop some ass. Yeah, there are people out there that like, like evil. <laughs> <laughs> there's bad guys, man. There's bad guys out there, and you might need to like fight them. And he's like, wait, no, I, I, I just came here to to learn. Fix my hands. Yeah, fix the hands. I just want my mitts back. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah, but uh, knowing this brings brings people and yeah, you, I guess brings danger. Yeah, so you need to learn how to fight like your life depended on him, and he starts beating his ass like his life is in danger. For real, like for real, he beats his ass. He beats the shit out of him. So um, that fight happens. Uh, <laughs> We're introduced. We're finally introduced. That Doctor Locke is finally introduced to the guy from Prometheus when he goes to the library, so he can learn. So he uh, takes out more books because he's learning like very advanced stuff for how like you've read all these. Yeah. <laughs> so um, 
And the, he, the, uh, the, the running joke is, is that the the sanctorum. Or... No, 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 no. Okay. But but in this part, I think they they actually he's trying to make a uh, big dude right. laugh. Yeah, he tries to make big dude laugh. Uh, the dude from Prometheus try to make some laugh, but the dude's not having it. No, <laughs> like, dude, like got no, nothing get to do out. with that shit. Like get out of here. So um, <laughs> we go you out. Doing? <laughs> they go out. What happens? What happens? Like he goes out, he studies some more. He comes back. Yeah. He's like, look, I need some more books. He's like, look, you can't take out these books because these are these are way too much for you. And he calls him Beyonce, and yeah. he's like, he's still not laughing. So he leaves again. And he starts back. thinking with portals. <laughs> Yeah, comes back to uh, guy from Prometheus, listening uh, the, to Beyonce, listening to Beyonce, listening to With single ladies, then. listening to single ladies while we see Doctor Strange, while we see Doctor Strange taking the books with his portal behind him. Yeah, <laughs> and, he and, then he around, looks, and he turns and around, just, and then he takes turns, the book that he's reading. Uh huh. All this to the sounds of single lady. Um. <laughs> so. All right, training is almost done. Uh, uh, we finally see the eye of Agamatu. And yes. basically, the eye of Agamatu, uh, we cut, we're going to cut a little bit to the future. He goes over into the part that we saw uh, Hannibal getting the book out of at yes. the beginning. Yes, and he's because... like, well, these books aren't forbidden. He's like, no knowledge is forbidden here. Yeah, but there's some practices. Certain practices that are. are. So, um, while he's looking at this book, at the pages are missing, he spots the eye of Agamotto, grabs and it, puts it in the book. Yeah, puts it, puts it around his neck. Yeah, uh, looks at the book and does uh, incantation. Yep, and opens the eye of Agamotto. And all right, we're gonna cut to the we're gonna cut to the future of the movie so we can explain what the eye of Agamotto is according to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it's an infinity stone. Is it infinity stone? So it's like the third it or fourth one to show up. It's no, like uh, this is the negates, fifth one. Fifth negates one negates black magic or no no. So there's only one more. Yeah, there's one more. Uh, the the infinity stone that is in the eye of Agamotto is the time gem. Yes. Okay. So you could you, with this with the eye of Akamoto, you could time powers. Yeah, you could bend time. It came in could, real fucking handy. Yeah, you could you could bend time. So while he's reading this book, it was just uh, a thing. Well, first we see it. We see how it works with him like doing gestures, and, and you can see like that winding he, time. Yeah, he ate this apple. Uh, parts of this apple. Uh huh. Puts it on the table. Uh, with the, but who ate uh, the rest of it? Yeah, with the, it, uh, I'm guessing that's a uh, guy from Prometheus who ate the rest of it. Uh, so uh, we see how it works with him doing the gestures, and the you can see back and forth the apple through time. So uh-huh. you can see somebody finishing the, the apple. Yeah, all the way to rotten, and then back to uh, being full. Even before he took the bites out of the apple. Yep, yep. So, with that, he uses the eye of Agamotto to uh, look at the the missing pages of the book. And in those missing pages, he finds uh, some shit. Yeah, he finds out the about Dormammu. And Dormammu, how you say it? Is 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 he the Dormammu or Dormammu? Let's just call him Sailor Moon. <laughs> here's, here's the funny thing about here's this funny thing about my saying of whatever. I got Kevin Smith in my head, and I know Kevin. I know Kevin Smith pronounces it wrong. He may not be the go-to for a language. No, but here's the thing. My pre my pre pronunciation of the word. Your one penis. of them are. One of them are right. <laughs> one of my, <laughs> I have two ways of saying it, but one of them is right, but I don't know which one it is. I, I don't think it's Dormammu. Them, but it could be Dormammu. Dormammu. 
or Dormammu. Come to Sea World. See Dormammu live. <laughs> because, but I know Kevin Smith says it wrong because he says it when he's impersonating his mom saying it. Dormammu. <laughs> so, so is it Dormammu? Is Dormammu? <laughs> so, um, so in these pages, they talk about Dormammu, and they also talk about how you could use time to uh, manipulate not only this universes, but all the different universes. Mm -hmm. And he starts, he starts making this spell, this very dangerous spell that could have contacted Dormammu. And he's like, and uh, the guy from Prometheus and the guy from Serenity stops him in time. And like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, I don't know. And um, here where we start talking about the Sanctum Satorium, the places that Doctor Strange eventually stays at. Okay. In this story, there are three in the world. There are three Sanctum Satoriums. There is one in Hong there's one in London, one in New York, and one in Hong Kong. And these Sanctum Satoriums are now if Verizon could just get coverage like that. I know. <laughs> so basically what these three what these three buildings do is kind of have, kind of make a gate around They're a the mystic world. cloaking device. Yeah, that keeps Dorma move. I'm gonna call him Dorma move for this. Call keeps Dorma move from uh, taking over the Earth. Okay. Or whatever. Or whatever. What was what's his grand plan is to eat it wants, basically. Is that what it is? Well, you saw what he did to the three at the end. So he's basically Galactus. Eh, sure. Yeah, because I got flashes of good. Yeah, Dormammu in this, he's he's Galactus. So, but with good grammar. Yeah. <laughs> he's a no, much snappier but... conversationalist. All right, I'll give you that. Okay, so, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he doesn't come over and say like, "Hey, uh, <laughs> your niggas got to go." Because I'm about to eat this shit, but uh, no, so he's like, he said, I'm eating you too. So uh, while they're explaining that there's three sanctum satorums, New York, London, and Hong Kong, London's is under attack. London's gets blown up because uh, the Hannibal is there, and he he wants he wants it destroyed. This kicks. During this fight, it kicks Doctor Strange into the New York, uh, the New York Sanctum Centaurum, where he eventually stays at. So, he's exploring the building. Nobody is there apparently, and he sees there where he sees the cloak of levitation. And the cloak of levitation is his cape. And the cape helps him fly and protects him. And it's such an adorable, it's such an adorable little cape. <laughs> such an adorable, it, 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 oh, I fell in love with the cape. And I agree with James, it made me think of the car carpet from Aladdin. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it's trying to drag him to the proper weapon. He's trying to get an axe and it's trying to give him fucking full body restraints. And he has the fucking, the blanket wins. Yeah. So, um, so Hannibal comes there, attacks the New York branch, and uh, the Cloak of Autumn model helps uh, Strange out fighting uh, Hannibal. Uh, Hannibal gets locked into some kind of contraption after all the ruckus, and is like, um, y yeah, uh, look. What I'm doing is, uh, you see, in the dark dimension, uh, people could live forever. Yeah. Like, I want to be immortal. Time has no meaning. Yeah, time has no there meaning. There is no there. time. Yeah, so uh, I want to bring this planet of so ours. So shut up with your bullshit. Yeah, I want to bring this planet of ours to that place so nobody could, so nobody could die because apparently Hannibal's family died before he went to that place. Apparently that's like the main thing with people there. Like they all came because of tragedy. So uh 
he's like, yeah, my family died, whatever, whatever. Well, about I think that, politicians but... capitalize on tragedy. Yeah. So like, whatever, man. I, 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 look, I'm trying to make. I'm, I'm trying to live forever, Tony. And he's like, is Doctor Strange, Doctor. Why are you clock like, blocking me? And Doctor Locke is like, um, look, uh, yeah, that's good. That's good and all, but you're like you're killing you people. Lost. Like you killing people, dude. So, um, like no, and he's like, well, uh, they're you just know that... specs in a in set yeah. in caring universe. Yeah, but, which is uh, something he had said earlier. But have you noticed that uh, uh, the ancient one has been living like a long time, like okay. long, oh. like long time ago. Like Don't she was. Wonder? She was born like a long time ago. So, Doesn't that uh, make you go, huh? Like, how is that possible? Wait uh, a second. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> Fuck you. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, Hannibal starts laughing. And he's like, man, you think that's funny? He's like, oh, is that, no, that, that's, that's horrible. But, um, what I think is funny is the fact that you lost your little ring thing <laughs> during yeah. the ruckus. And all of a sudden, one of Hannibal's minions uh, stabbed him with a uh, invisible knife. Yeah, right, right, a fucking smog knife. So uh, <laughs> the, the cloak of that's where all of New York City smog went. Yeah, it was so turned the, into weaponry. So the cloak of levitation uh, grabs the guy who stabbed Doctor Locke with the invisible shield. <laughs> movies and starts beating the fuck out of him. <laughs> like, beats the shit out of him. Yeah, like, actually. He, yeah. Beats him pretty fuck good. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he grabs him by the head <laughs> and starts slamming him against the floor. <laughs> so while this is happening, Dr. Strange is crawling into a portal to the hospital that he was in. Yeah, and he goes instantly... and buys the chair from the notebook. She finds a chick from her notebook and like, hey, look, uh, I just got stabbed. Uh, you want to help me out with this? <laughs> so go to the operating room where it's just uh, her and him. And no, he... He astral projects. Yeah, he passes out astral projects and uh, then helps... Then help. decides to peek his head out of the <laughs> astral projection so that he she can see him and she proceeds... To shit her pants. Yes. <laughs> she she freaks the fuck out. So, um... Because, yeah, so you know, are yeah. you dead? No, but you I know. am dying. Yeah, so he helps her out with his surgery. <laughs> yeah, he sticks his hand in and acts like a light bright. Yeah, so, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. So, while more this like is happening... While this is happening, the minion that's getting beat up by the fucking coke uh, decides he's going to go into his astral plane and follow Dr. Locke into the hospital. Uh, he appears into the surgery room. Uh, Dr. Locke notices him and like, hey, uh, I know you're having surgery, like life-threatening surgery on me, but uh, I have to, I, I'll be very, I'll be back, I'll be back. Goes completely back into the astral plane and beats the fuck out of the guy who tried to kill him before. Yeah, it was a decent fight scene. It was nice. It was a nice fight scene. Uh, during this, he flatlines. Uh, and she gets hits him with the paddles. Hit him with the paddles. Uh, that and that causes him, a, him to fucking overload in the astral plane. Yep. And uh, he peeks his head back out and like, look, uh, I know you just saved me with that thing, but I need you to just me Hit up me again. One, like one more time. Like, like no, your heart's head. beating. Like, yeah, that's cool and all, but I need you to do that like one more time. <laughs> so and she does, and she he, does. He cooks that dude chakra. He's gone. Well Man, done. That's a, a cook goose. So, like, hey, everyone. Uh, Technically. Technically, on a technicality. So he's uh, like, look, you uh, are technically dead. So, um, yeah, I have to go now. <laughs> so, uh, peace. 
and I have to leave. The She's like, well, the where are you going? Well, I have to go back through this the portal that I opened in the mop closet. Mm-hmm. She's like, if you don't want to tell me. All right, all right. So you open don't... up the door, and sure <laughs> enough, there's a portal in the mop closet. <laughs> leading he back to New York. He walks right in there, and uh, he pieces out. So uh, him, uh, the guy from Serenity, and the girl from Constantine are like, Hey, uh, good job. Uh, so, uh, this, this sanctum doesn't have like a master anymore. So, uh, congratulations, Master Strange. And my doctor is like, <laughs> fuck off with that. So, um, they have an argument. And where Dr. Where Dr. Locke tells the God for Serenity that the girl from Constantine uh, is taking power from the dark dimension. Where Dome She's pulling it. Yeah, uh, never mind. Go, go, go ahead. I can't use that joke. Never mind. Uh, all right. The better taste prevailed. She's using powers that she shouldn't be to, for what she thinks are the right reasons. Right. What was those reasons? Save the world. Uh, that's a good reason. A bunch of times. That's a good reason. So, um, yeah. So she's kind of a, a. Uh, Servant to uh, Dormammu. Yeah, kind she's of. Ta- she's tapping into his energy. Yeah, tapping into that energy. So, um, uh, dude for Serenity is like, no, no, nah, no, nah, no, no. Uh, uh. no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, she leaves. So does he. Wait, no. No, they don't because Hannibal comes back and like, hey, uh, guess who's back? And then starts destroying shit. <laughs> so, uh, we lead to a chase outside because uh, Hannibal, I mean, Dr. Locke uh, trapped everybody into the mirror universe. Right? Their pocket mirror universe. Their pocket, pocket mirror universe. Yes. Uh, and he's like, ha, ha, trapped you. So you can't do shit. And, They're like, ha, ah, ha, ah, you really don't know shit, do you? <laughs> so they throw everybody outside to New York, and there's a great chase. And the best way to describe it is if you're watching a a chase scene through New York through a kaleidoscope. Yeah. On acid. <laughs> On acid. <laughs> Because so, the main thing I've gathered from all of this so far is that everyone is just on shrooms. The visuals are amazing. Yeah. Oh my god, they are so amazing. But you're right. Yeah, most of the people here are on shrooms. <laughs> so uh yeah. So this shroom fight, this shroom chase scene in New York, uh yeah, like buildings are collapsing, and ah, uh, it's 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 madness. It's it's pure madness because buildings are like side of each other and breaking apart and coming together. It's weird, and you running, and then all of a sudden something on the side catches somebody off guard, and people are upside down. And people are running sideways. It's, it's Look, crazy. Jared, you can't do it justice. So. I can't. It, it's crazy. No, but it, it I, has to I'm, be seen. I, I'm, I'm saying all this. It's it's madness. It's crazy. And then all of a sudden, it becomes a great pattern when the ancient one shows back up again. And she makes it look beautiful. It, it, the, the visuals at this point, when it becomes like one, is beautiful. And she's like, hey, uh, yeah, so I have been tapping into the dark world, but uh, th- there was a purpose, and look, look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, we here at BP is sorry. <laughs> so, so from there, uh, her and Hannibal have a fight, and during this fight, who during this fight, uh, Hannibal makes a portal and kicks her through that portal and she is 
she ends up falling the down a side of a skyscraper and um dr uh, dr Locke and the guy from serenity chase after her and she doesn't have a cloak of levitation oh, so she's shit. falling and again this is why you get a horror director to, <laughs> to direct this <laughs> shit because she crashes through a plain glass window and into the ground. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Again. Yeah, and you feel that shit. <laughs> you feel that, that shit. That was like Final Destination shit. Uh, I, am, I, I, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say this. Uh, watching that part uh, gave me reminders of 9-11. Because... Uh, oh, fuck. Because, yeah, because side of a building's in New York, and then all of a sudden, because it comes out of nowhere for the people on the ground, <laughs> because there are people on the ground, and then all of a sudden, bang, <laughs> and then, like, everybody's screaming, like, what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> and then Dr. Strange and uh, Mortal, or the guy from Serenity, like, picks her up. And back to the hospital. <laughs> back to the hospital with uh, the girl from the girl from the notebook, and the and the dumb doctor from earlier, which Doctor Strange finally has like his humbling moment because he's got a hand on the scalpel. Because he has the hand on the scalpel and telling him, "Hey, uh, you have to do the surgery." Right, and then he goes astral plane. He goes astral plane because so does uh, Angel from Constantine. Yeah. And she so, decides to take a little trip out to the balcony. Yeah. So they have a conversation talking about, like, look, uh, I've seen all your possibilities, all your futures, and the, the thing about you is I've seen all your possibilities. Like, you could be, you could be doing this again. Like, you could be doing your doctor shenanigans again. Doctor shenanigans. <laughs> You could be doing that, but the reason why I've been teaching you and why I feel like you could do more is because since I've seen your possibilities, I've seen you do great things. And I've seen this moment, this very moment, like thousands of times. No matter how where it starts, it always ends up here. It always now. ends here now, and I can never see anything past it for me. So, I know this I'm going. This is where I die. This is where I die. And, and she's, she's like, like no. you would think after being alive for so long, but look at me, stretching out this moment to 30,000 moments, just so I can watch the snow. And then she's gone. Aww. Yeah. Sad. That lightning effect? Oh. Awesome. That was beautiful, right? <laughs> oh. So... It's the lightning uh, just kind of crawls across the sky because she's slowing time down. Right. And, she's, and as even at the beginning of that, of that moment, she's like, yeah, we're having this conversation. Your body hasn't even hit the floor yet. So during this, con during this whole conversation, his body is falling. So it's like 10 seconds total. Yeah. Max. So, so um, she's, she's gone. Uh, Doctor Strange goes back. She's dead, and he has to leave. Uh, they, her, Doctor Locke, and the girl from the oh, we missed has, something. What's that? During that first fight in the mirror zone. What? Um, Stanley's cameo in the bus. Oh yeah, Stanley's cameo in the bus. Because they land on him. the side of the bus, because that's down at the moment for them. Yeah, and <laughs> uh, did you read what he was reading? No. Uh, the the death of I want to say physics or per, no the death of perception. Nope, no idea. Yep, yep. Uh, so he was reading that and he's like, ha ha, ah, that's so crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> that's Stanley's cameo. Uh, so all right, so back Doctor Strange washes his hands, has a tender moment from the girl with the notebook. And he's like, look, uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. And No, uh, like, for real, I have to go-go. 
Yeah, I, I, I have to leave, and I won't be back. I won't be back in November. So um, don't bother shorting my bills. Yeah. So uh, the bye. <laughs> They almost wait. They almost have the kiss, but she kisses him on the cheek because she gets a call to go to to another operation. So he's like, "All right, bye." And bye. If you gotta save lives and shit, and <laughs> that's that's it for her. Like for reals this time, <laughs> she's gone. Uh, the coke of levitation uh, wraps around him. Wipes his tear off his face in yes. a very, very cute moment. He's like, stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Uh-huh. And, and uh, he goes back. No, we go to the Hong Kong branch of the Sanctum Saturiums. Yeah, and the guy uh, from Prometheus is there. And the guy from Prometheus is there. He's the troops. He's giving this big ass speech like, look, look, motherfuckers. Right? You better listen to me, motherfuckers. Nobody <laughs> enters this place, all right? None, right? No, we go to die and everybody's gonna die in the streets, right? But nobody's dying, nobody is touching this house, right? So we cut to Doctor Strange, who goes to the guy from uh Serenity, who is kind of broken now because he just found out that his that his that his main homegirl was kinda kinda evil. Yeah, yep. ish. Kind of evil. Yeah, like, his dude, mentor, his hero, was doing some unnatural shit. She was doing horrible shit for with good intentions, presumably. But, but he wasn't looking he at can't the good. Can't be sure because she broke the rules. Yeah, she. Yeah, he's a real stickler for the rules. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, that's their guiding tenets. Yeah. So, like, yeah, th- People that's kind cool. of tend to get hung up on that shit. He's like, yeah, look, I know she was. She says she has some good intentions, but you don't know. No, no. So you don't know her. So Doctor Locke is like, look, I know, I know shit, Cray, but <laughs> we, have, we have to, we have to protect the Hong Kong. Bank. I could not imagine Benedict Cumberbatch saying, "Look, I know shit's <laughs> Cray right now." I, I bet you, I can find look it. Bad. I bet look you, bad. I, I bet you, I can find a clip of him doing that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> or I can make him. Uh, anyway, so uh, look, <laughs> shit's cray. Shit cray. We have to go to the Hong Kong branch, and uh, we have to stop because you they know get that there. Dude, you know that dude is there. We get there, and after and that, it's over. Me, <laughs> it is done. <laughs> it is over. It is, it is over. Shit yeah. has lost. You have Dorma, fucking lost. Dorma Moo is already here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, look up at the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> Dormu is eating the planet. Fucking, fucking Hong Kong is half in room. They're like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> so then, so, fucking Dr. T. Dr. T. Dr. T and the women, uh, they, he goes, he opens the eye of Agamaru. Yep. And like, he starts re- doing his fucking DVR shit. Yeah, and it starts re- reversing and tries to reverse what the the events. Reverse the <laughs> editor's he... note. Put in TiVo's sound here. Yeah, <laughs> so reverse the, so reverses the reverses the events uh, while doing this. Uh, yeah, he Hannibal... snaps fucking uh, dude from Prometheus out of it. Yeah, and he's like, man, this is. Uh, no, Dr. this is unnatural. This is against our laws. I mean, don't stop now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after he notices, you're that already was, doing it. Like after he notices that, yeah, I was stabbed. <laughs> like, look, no, yeah, you, you continue doing what you do. Yeah, you, you don't stop now. So, uh, reversing, the, reversing the time. Uh, met, uh, Hannibal and his crew, they snap out of their little thing. And it's starts fighting with Doctor Strange. Yeah, starts fighting everybody, and Doctor Strange is like, "Look, as <sighs> soon as and soon there's shit as... flying backwards because of all the explosions and shit that had happened just before they got there." Yeah, so the so thing we is... get to see everything in reverse. So the thing is, oh yeah, just, just we didn't see this fight. We just see it go. So it's fucking beautiful, and the thing is, like, people are thrown into fires, but since it's going in reverse. <laughs> And they the go fire. out and they're okay. Yeah. They're out back on their bicycle. Right. 
So <laughs> Doctor Strange was like, as soon as as soon as the Hong Kong branch is done, is is finally back up again, we're gonna have to stop this at the beginning. So be prepared to fight. And just as soon as uh, the last brick of the Hong Kong branch is about to be set. Uh, Doctor Strange and company are getting knocked down by Hannibal and company. Okay. So it looks like this fight is for nothing. It's for nothing. Then was about to be one of the best sequences of this movie. Doctor Strange, uh, Hannibal has this speech talking about how the dark the dark dimension has, or the dark universe has eternal no, light. yeah, eternal light. Uh, there's no time. There's no time there, and you will see in time. Super sweet, bro. It's super. It's, it's super sweet, bro. <laughs> and uh, it's got what you need. Yeah, it's, it's got. You can feel you. mad abs. It's like crack, <laughs> but and like, look, no time. We can live forever. And Dasman, Doctor Strange has this epiphany and flies right into the dark dimension or the no, dark no, universe. First, he reopens the eye of Agamemnon. Yeah, the, the and he Agamemnon. puts it on the other hand, on the left hand, which I was like, oh no, I did it on the right hand for the time turner. Yeah, but he's not on... making a time turner. He's yeah. doing something even more stupid and so, dangerous and brilliant and amazing. So he goes into the dark universe. <laughs> Lands on an asteroid or a planet or whatever. Whatever the fuck Most, it is, one of his ball of, sacks. Yeah, one of his ball sacks because the Dormammu has lots of ball sacks. Hey, yo, Dormammu, and, I'm here to bargain. And Dormammu looks at him like motherfucker, fuck and you squish. And, yeah, obliterates Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is dead. For show. Sure. <laughs> Done. So then a second rewind. later. Rewind. <laughs> and and the movie ends. The end. Yeah. No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> rewind. And Dr. Shane. That's what they should have done. They should have crashed. Kind of get squished, but then that's it. And then, and then credits. <laughs> and, then, and then stop. And then reverse. And it's like, all right, look. Dorman move. I'm here to bargain. Smash. Smash, stab, <laughs> squish, blast. We keep repeating this keep once. killing him. And then and that's when like, Dr. And then Dormammu starts realizing what's going on. He's like, it's wait, like, is this wait, an illusion? Fuck? What the fuck is going on? It's like, look, all right, look. He brought you, time into a universe with no time. No time. And not only did he bring time to he a He brought universe, in a time loop, loop. a recursive <laughs> loop. So and, that every time he died... It would start the loop over. And the thing is... The only way to let, to end the loop is to let him live. But no, it, but not even that. The beautiful thing about this is, as long as he's in this loop, Earth is saved. Yep. Like, Earth is Earth is not being destroyed because Dormammu is too busy dealing with Doctor Strange. Yep. So while he's in this loop... And Doctor Strange even tells him, like, "Look, I don't give a fuck what you do to me. Like, I can, I can live. I, yeah, I can all do this. Can, forever. All you can do is kill me, but, <laughs> but uh, you, you're gonna long, have to kill me a lot. Yeah, as long as you keep killing me, Earth is okay. Yep. So let's do this, and we keep getting this scene over and over until Dormammu. This might be like, my new life motto. I can keep losing forever. Yeah. <laughs> so at this point, Dormammu." <laughs> Dormu was like, all right, all right, fine. Fine. <laughs> what do what? I have to do? Release <laughs> me. <laughs> what do you want? And he's like, all right, look. Like, all right, look. Leave Earth alone. Bring your... Forever. Uh, yeah, leave Earth Take forever. Take your little bitches. Take your bitches. Take your little <laughs> click. And get the fuck out of here. And he's like, all right, all right, you know, I right, Fine. Fine. <laughs> Time sucks. <laughs> you bitches. I see why those guys want it out. So uh, we cut back to uh, Hannibal giving his speech, and Doctor Strange appears behind him, and he's like, "Hey, uh, guess what?" And <laughs> Dormammu takes away his whatever and brings Hannibal and his flunkies 
to the dark dimension while Doctor Strange well, is like, hey. we're flying in, for anybody that's played Mass Effect, they begin to resemble the husk. Oh, yeah. Because they turn all black and get purple eyes. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, you go to, yeah, well, guess what? You're, You're going to get everything you want. You want. <laughs> you go, You'll it's win. Gonna, it's going to suck. So, um. <laughs> You're not going to like it. So, all right, so they fly off. Dormammu is gone, and what I'm assuming is going to be <laughs> Rob's favorite part of the movie. <laughs> uh, Doctor Strange is like, hey, man, hey, you should have took the whole book, because uh, they don't tell you about <laughs> the bad parts until the end. Yeah, and that was, had, well, the warnings are after the spells, but yeah, and the, the, warning is the after librarian the dude had been there for the first time he said that, and he just starts losing his shit, dying the librarian dude. That's funny. <laughs> he is, he's laughing. He's like, man, you, man, you're crazy, strange. <laughs> you know, oh, uh, it's great. And that was a, that was a good long long play joke. So uh, everybody's like, yeah, high fiving each other, like, yeah, we did it, except for dude from Serenity. Yeah, because he's, he's kind of freaking out about chick, you know, going under the table. Yeah, it, it, yeah, he's mad. Door. At, yeah, he's mad at that, and then he's like, "Yeah, yeah, um, yeah." I understand that you saved the I day. Need some time to think. No, no, no. He said, "I understand that you saved the day, but, uh, but you, you did it." Laws. Yeah, you did it unnaturally. Like you, you, you fucked up time. Like you, you, you. You fucked up time, and you don't think that that's going to have some consequence? There's going to be a price. There's going to be a price. The bill is going to have to be paid. So, um, peace out. So, he walks off. Dr. Stranger Wong is like... <laughs> <laughs> so, we go back to the Sanctum Satorum in New York. And where Doctor Strange and Wong is like, uh, well, I guess it's just us. And, uh, yeah, we're, I guess I'm the Sorcerer Supreme now, I think. Or, no, no, no. The thing is, Doctor Strange has to still uh, train. Uh -huh. He's not exactly Sorcerer Supreme, but Earth doesn't have a Sorcerer Supreme. So Which is going to make a target in the multiverse. Yeah, yeah, just going to make it a real target for the multiverse and a certain guy who is going after the Infinity Stones. Right. So, um... Somebody who doesn't like to have to do it himself, but will. Yeah. So, uh... Doctor Strange! Credits. Yeah, that was a good movie. Credits, credits. Oh my god, that Stinger, the first Sting, one. Sting, first Stinger! Uh, oh my god! So, Finds uh, the fucking formerly paraplegic guy. Huh? Oh yeah, no, no, no. That's not, that, was your first, that was your first stinger. Yeah, I got mine in reverse. Why? What was your first one? My first one was uh, with Doctor Strange. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Oh, with Thor. Yeah. yeah sorry, my bad, my bad. All right, so wait, you know what? Let's go with your singer because I feel that's the lesser of the singers. Right, right. So and uh. Fucking the dude from Serenity finds a dude that couldn't walk, but then could walk because of magic. And, and he's like, he Look. steals his magic. <laughs> he steals his magic. He's straight up jacks at me. He's, yeah, he's, it, it's like a oh, swipe. Wait, so swipe he turns him into a cripple again? Yep. yep. Sure <laughs> does. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, I gotta figure rude. out what the problem is. Too many sorcerers. <laughs> See, because in and the I movie. Think he stole his power. During the, yeah, during the movie. Uh, we find out that the, the reason why the dude was able to walk again is because he's using all of his magic to not be paraplegic. Okay. So. Magic. So. Basketball. Yeah. So, uh, mortal comes, takes his magic away, and it's like, hey, uh, yeah, the reason I've I found out the reason why shit is going terrible. There's too many sorcerers. So Mortal's out here. Kind of went rogue. Yeah, Mortal's out here stealing people's powers. Okay, so I'm guessing he's gonna become the new big bad. Oh yeah. So, all right. With that, we go to the other stinger, yeah. <laughs> which I love. I love the stinger. Oh, all right, wow. so it's so good. So first thing first, there's visitors now on Earth, and we get a 
cut to Thor, who is sitting at the Sanctum Saturnum with Doctor Strange. And, and kind of grilling him. Yeah, kind of grilling. He's like, look, uh, being who I am, I have I've made to a keep... list of bad. Yeah, I make a list. I made a list of people oh, that he's I have pretty high on that list. Yeah, I have a watch list. I have an FBI watch list, and uh, <laughs> Loki's on is Loki is on that list. That's very so, wise. Yeah. So, um, so why did you bring him to New York? And, of our mother. <laughs> so if you find yeah. your dad, you'll take Loki and you'll get the fuck out of here, right? <laughs> you fuck. You fuck. Well, off, okay. Right? Let me help you. All right, I'll help you out. Let's do this shit. Come on. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so. So I guess in, with this figure, Doctor Strange will be in Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> yep. That's nice. Definitely what it looks like, and I and yeah, I'm good with yeah. that. That makes that movie make. I actually kind of want to see it now. Kind of want to really now, dude. I've watched the other Thor movies, but the other Thor movies isn't this Thor movie. Okay. This Thor, this Thor movie has Hulk. Okay. This Thor movie. Bear in has... mind, I don't know the backstory. I've only seen the movies and shit. Oh, oh, you go. Oh, you're gonna love this. Uh, have <laughs> you seen? Have you seen? Uh, well, Flight of the Concords. So, uh, no, not really. Uh, have you seen? Uh, what's that movie? That movie about the vampires. The the found footage movie about the vampires. Uh, shit. Uh, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a reality TV show but with vampires. Ah, what we do in the darkness or what we do in the shadows? No clue. All right. Well, um, let's just say the director. Fuck off. Of Thor, the the director of uh, of Thor Ragnarok is he's 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 in those circles with Side of the Concords. Okay. He like he's a very funny director. Uh, the, uh, from what I've seen so far and what I'm hearing about it, this is it, it's Jeff Goldblum is in this movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's 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 all you need to know, Rob. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> you, you had me at Goldblum. <laughs> Goldblum is in this movie. You had me at Goldblum. And, I don't know. I just watched Independence Day Resurgence, and don't don't worry about that. But Goldblum that's is tarnished the, the effectiveness of Goldblum for certain. Nah, he'll, he'll come back. Thor, Goldblum, Cape Planchet, and uh, and fucking Dread. Dread is in this movie, man. Uh, Bones. Okay, well, I hate to, Jared, but I actually have to kind of insist on calling it a night. Oh really? It's been three hours. It's been. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, Megan, for. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't <laughs> often. I don't often do this, but tonight I have to. Uh, well, first off, thank you, Megan, for listening to our rant about. <laughs> about oh, I, I, I know. expected that we would have had time to talk with you afterwards, but apparently not. Nope. No, I enjoyed it actually. I really it's did. It's a really good movie. It's I would so definitely good. have to go see that, it now. That you just listened to. <laughs> yep. Oh <laughs> no, I fine, think we did more fine. coverage than the movie had. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I definitely have to go check it out now. Oh yeah, yep. it's great. It's fucking great. I definitely want to do like, you know, a little bit more reading just on the backstory, just to kind of have a. You know, a better idea. I don't feel and like even without that, it was fucking amazing. Yeah, uh, like, I don't think it's a, you have to, but it's just something I, I like to do. If you're gonna do any back reading, I suggest any uh, any. If it says Steve Dicko on it, read that, and read the current Doctor Strange uh, series that just came out. Uh, read the one, what the hell is the name of it, where Dr. Doom and Dr. Strange go to oh, hell oh, to oh, save Dr. Oh, Doom's oh, mother? Oh, 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 oh torture, wait, what is it? Triumph it's, and torture. Triumph and torture. Yep. Oh, Dr. Doom that. asked Dr. Strange for help going to hell to save his mom's soul. Oh, I fucking wow. like this. That is my favorite that is my favorite Dr. Doom and Dr. Strange story. I <laughs> love, I love that book. I love it. Absolutely. Lo- you know what? Read that. <laughs> Don't read anything else. 
<laughs> read that. I fucking love And from what Cargill story. was saying, or maybe it was Brian that said it, uh, the guy that drew that would later go on to do Hellboy. Yeah. That was and his Mike, first. That was his yeah. first comic venture into the hellscape. Yes, uh, I fucking, I fucking love that. I'll go to sleep with that book. I fucking love that <laughs> book. I fucking love it. Triumph and torture. Triumph and torture. I love it. Read that. Read it. Everybody, everybody, read it. You know what? This episode is called Triumph and Torture. Um, with that, we're gonna end this. Ep- we're gonna end this episode of the quote unquote shoe. Four away from 100. Uh, you can find us on SoundCloud and iTunes. You can find us on the ShoeTube YouTube page. You can find us all on the social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all run by it's the lovely the quote, Megan. It's the quote-unquote ShoeTube. If you just put in ShoeTube, you'll get something about shoes. Oh, really? It's the quote-unquote ShoeTube. The quote-unquote ShoeTube. On uh, YouTube. On YouTube. Uh, and Jared? Uh, Pornhub's coming soon. Chicka chicka. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I'm gonna read that book now. <laughs> fucking read it. I, I fucking, I love it so much. I love it. It's like it's peak doom. It is peak doom. Is it, like if anybody tells me oh, why, I'm well, like, then stop. you have got to listen to that fucking uh. Uh, junk food cinema. Then I know. I, I down, apparently I, absolutely loves that book. I, I downloaded it. I'm, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to listen to it. Yes. Oh, look, I love that book. If anybody tells me, Jared, why do you like Doctor Doom, Triumph and Torture? Read that. Shit. <laughs> that's that's Doctor Doom. Nice. Oh, uh, great. Good. Doctor Doom, and he's what? And he's kind of wanna. I mean. The most predominant, you know, villains, I guess. That's that's my main reason why I wish uh, Fantastic Four rights would convert back to Marvel. I don't yeah. care about the. I do not care about the Fantastic Four. Do but not doc, care. Yeah. But Doctor Doom, having Doctor Doom in the Marvel universe, that finally being done right, especially now that yeah. Doctor Strange is out, love it. And he, I mean, he stretches across so many, right? You know, characters because, and and universes and just everything. And if if your only if your only exposure to Doctor Doom is the Fantastic Four movies, that's that's not Doctor Doom. No, no, <laughs> <That is definitely laughs> not. no. My, the, the thing is, my thing is, the best way I could describe Doctor Doom. Because I, 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 I'm just speaking <laughs> right now. But the best way I describe Doctor Doom is if you put Iron Man and Doctor Strange together, just like smashed them and made that person evil, that's Doctor Strange. That's Doctor Doom. That's awesome. <laughs> fucking, oh, I fucking love it. I love it. Love, I'm definitely reading that book now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, good night, everybody. Good night. Okay, now that they're gone, um, if you've listened this far, thank you so much. Thank you for, this is over two years now we've been doing this. So, you know, if you made it this far, you know the drill, but fuck it, I'm going to do the outro. Uh, check us out on Facebook, the quote-unquote shoe group, SoundCloud and iTunes, the quote-unquote shoe, at the quote shoe on Twitter, And you can also find us on Instagram and several others ran by Meg Garner, who was here earlier, but now she's gone. Thank you for listening. I I hope you've seen this film, but thanks for listening, and we'll be back next week, and the week after that, and the week after that.